Yeah. All of them had like a laser on us. They're like, drew out the car and put your head out the window and all this stuff. He's like, he put his hands out the window so they could see he didn't have it. Then he's like, but I'm not. He's like, I'm not. He's like, we're going to talk to the sheriff right now. He's like, you can follow us there. That's fine. He's like, but we're talking to the sheriff. He said, so either you can put a bullet through my head right now and get it over with, or we're going to talk to the sheriff. And, um, and they were like, no. And so then they, they're like stepping it up and a bunch more guys are coming out and they're all pulling their guns out. And they were like, we have women in the car. We have, because it was me and this other lady in the car that I don't know real well. Um, but they like, we have women in the car. They're like, get the women out of the car. Get the women out of the car. And they're saying they're going to shoot. And Ryan Payne was like, he was in the front seat. Ryan Payne is amazing. I, he is incredible. But anyhow, so he was like, um, he, he said, he put his hands out the window. Cause they, he was trying to talk to them. He was like, if he, was, he wanted the guy to just, he was like, He's like, I don't know if it's worth it. He's like, um, so he put his hands out the window, and he said, we have women in the car. At least let the women get out. And he stuck his head out, and they shot at him, but they missed him. Or, like, he ducked just in time. So he, he, they didn't hit him. And then they're like, oh, they mean business. They're going to shoot us. And so um, Ryan decided to get out of the car and try to go talk to them. And so he gets out of the car, and then um, the guy tried to, like, talk to them. The, um, the driver was like, I'm just going to drive. So I'm just going to talk to the sheriff. And he's like, and he's like, so either shoot me now or let us, or leave us alone. And they were just like, put your, turn the car off and put your hands up. And like, oh, that's, so finally, he said to just drive. So we all got down on the floorboard and he took off. And then they started firing at us. They started shooting us a bunch of times. And, and then they had a roadblock set up. And so he ran into a snowbank, and they were, like, riddling the car with bullets. And um, then, they, like, when we crashed, they stopped for a second. He got out of the car, and he had his hands in the air. He's like, he's like, and rest. He's like, just shoot me, then. This is what you want to shoot me. And they did. They shot him dead. They, he, they shot him, like, right there because he was just walking with his hands in the air. And I thought, I swear to God. He was just walking with his hands in the air, and they shot him, and they shot him dead, and then after he was down on the ground, they shot him three more times. And then they bombarded our vehicle with bullets, Ryan got hit in the shoulder. They were, we were laying there on the floorboard screaming, and they gassed us like five times, and they kept trying to shoot us, and the angle, their angle was bad, so I don't know, we were praying like so hard, and we were screaming like, stop, please, stop, please, stop. And they were just reeling us with the bullets. They kept gassing us over and over. And um, we couldn't breathe because of the gas. And um, we were trying to find something white so that we could put a white flag out. And then I was trying to see, because Ryan knew he had got hit in the shoulder. And so he was like, well, I don't think it's too bad, though. So then, but, um, so we were just trying to find a way to, to get out of there. And then, then they, um, Hold on. I'm waiting for them to call me back. Listen, Victoria, I, rec I recorded your testimony. Oh, okay. All right, because if anything happens to you, I think it's really important to have that. All right. Okay, so let's yeah. just let's just get this clear. Uh, Mr. Finnicum's hands or Finnicum's hands were in the air when he was shot. Yes. Was he standing? Yeah. He was shown face up. I mean, his hands were still up after he was dead. Okay, they shot him, and he went down, and then they shot him again on the ground? Yeah, they shot him, like, at least six times. The re the newspaper reports are just saying that three shots were fired, but that's a bunch of, that's not true. No, are you kidding me? They shot at least 120 shots probably all together. Okay. they were shooting the car, and it's like a lot. What side of the windows were the windows blown out on, the left or the right side? Left. Left side, okay. And they kept hitting the right, they were hit, they kept hitting the right side of the car too, but they didn't blow, like the windows didn't come out. Like they were hitting the metal instead of the glass. Okay. And so not one shot was fired by anybody in the car or by a Lavoy? No, no one even touched their gun. No one touched their gun. No one pulled their gun out. No one touched the gun. We had no 
rifles. A couple of the guys had sidearms on, but no one touched them. They had, in fact, they had their hands out the windows to show that they were not firing. They weren't nothing. Okay, so nothing when was, when we showed no aggression at all. When Ryan Bundy was shot, his both his hands were out the window and his head was out the window. No, at the time he was on the floor of the car because that was when they were shooting at our vehicle. We couldn't get out of the car; or we would have been dead. Right. Okay. And so, how many police vehicles, or, or uh, how many vehicles would you say were involved in this encounter? Uh, FBI vehicles, etc. Um, you know, I didn't count. I was really shaken up when they got out. But we we all noted that there were like a ton of vehicles. There were I don't know maybe forty altogether. Okay. There was tons, and there were people in the trees. Like it was an ambush, it was a set up ambush or something because there was like people in the trees, FBI snipers and people in the trees because we saw them, they're all pointing their, like I had like 20 lasers on me when I was getting out of the car. Okay. So, so Lloyd got out of the driver's seat and he, he, uh, he, he, well, when he crashed into the snowbank, then he immediately out of the car, he had his hands in the air, and he's like, he's like, just shoot me then, because he didn't want to go, he didn't want to go down, he didn't want to, but he did not, he just had his hands in the air, and he's like, are you just going to shoot me, and then they just shot him. And how many shots would you say that were fired when they shot him the first time? The first, um, the first time that, that he well, was when, shot? When they shot him, did you hear multiple rounds? you say they fired at the car before they finally stopped? Um, somewhere between five and ten minutes. Uh, um, Vic Victoria, we're going to be yeah. praying for you, okay? And, and right. you know, um, I... I I, I have this recorded because I I fear for your life. I feel like if they if you know you were one of the few people you're 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 not under arrest, but you were a witness, a direct eyewitness to what happened. So I wanted to get this down, um, and I wanted uh, I wanted to document this as as well as I could. Uh, what who was driving the so Lavoy was driving the car and and uh, Ryan was in the front seat. No, uh, Ryan Payne, who was in the front seat, but during the incident, he got out when they first stopped us. He stopped in the middle of the road and told them, we're going to talk to the sheriff, he said. And and then when they fired the first shot, it was actually at that point. Ryan had Ryan Payne had both his hands out the window on his head, and then they shot at him. That was the first then, shot? That was the first shot. Okay, so... And that's when they knew that we... That, that's when we knew that they were meant business, that they were serious. And that they, I, I'm talking to someone who's in Michigan that I lose with, with. They're kind of recording this just in case I am. Um, so that was the first shot. And then he ended up getting out of the car because they stopped shooting. He got out of the car. And then after we started driving again, that's when they shot. At, that's when they started shooting at us again. So, but we had lasers on us the whole time. And they were ready to shoot. Okay, so Ryan got out of the car. Did he ever get back in the car before he took off? No, he was arrested, or he was taken into custody at least. I don't know if he was arrested because all of us were um, taken into custody, and he was with us. Like We all got transported together, and then they separated all of us. And that's Ryan Payne you're talking about? Yes. Okay, and where was Ryan Bundy? He was in the back seat of the car beside me. I was actually... I, I had fallen asleep on him. I had fallen asleep on him right when we got pulled, pulled over. I was asleep, and then I woke up when the whole thing started going 
going down. So you were sitting to the left of me. Okay, so you were in the middle. Yes. And then the Shana other lady on my right. Who was? Shauna Cox. Shauna Cox on your right. Ryan Bundy on your left. And uh, you were headed to go see the sheriff. We were going to this meeting that we were ha that was going on. So all of us sheriffs were going to sing, and it was, the sheriff was going to be there, and a bunch of ranchers. And we were just going to try to talk and maybe do some negotiations, and we were going to sing. Um, and so that was all. And then we were ambushed. I mean, it was known that we were going to go, so uh, they probably just decided to choose that area, maybe because it was really wooded and everything, and we didn't have any phone service. So. Okay. All right, well, listen, uh, I'm going to be up. If you want to call me uh, at any time during this, okay? Uh, because I can't do much. I can pray for you guys, and but I can also try to document as best as possible to make sure that um, the story is not... Because right now, the media is reporting that three shots were fired. Oh, uh, no, that's a total lie. Okay. Of course, the media is going to report that, but... Right, well... Are you kidding me? Have you seen the car? Have you seen the vehicle? It's no. completely covered with gunshots. Well, no, they're not going to release that because they don't want... Uh, they don't want... And he's probably got six holes in him himself. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you. So, now let me ask you this. Um, do you want this story to get out? Absolutely. Okay, so I, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to see how well it's turning out. I want to be able to determine if I can hear you clearly and determine, you know, uh, and I mean, I am willing to try to get this out there to any media outlet that I possibly can um, that will, that, you know, independent, independent media. But, um, but I need to know, you know, so is your family back at the refuge? No, they're not. Hold on a second. Okay. Someone's calling me. All right. Go ahead uh -huh. and answer. Oh, I need to let, I All need right. to let you go. Bye-bye. Call me back. All right, bye.